Once upon a time, there was a girl named Elle. All Elle ever wanted to do was sing. What do you think you're doing? I said, what do you think you're doing? Is it possible we can get our vanilla lattes today because they're not gonna get themselves? Right, I got it, vanilla latte. Listen up, Ellie. This isn't fairy tale land or Hicks Vale or wherever you're from. It's Al and I'm from Nashville. Who cares, Emily? This is LA and we move fast around here. So when I ask you to get me something, you better fetch. I'd listen to her if I were you. Yeah. So why is it that I put up with her incompetence again? Because her parents died in some horrible plane crash and the president of our record label adopted her. I think her parents were some kind of background singer that he managed or something like that. What else? She better watch it. That's right. Does this corset make me look fat? No. Really? Because I had like two M&Ms today. Elle, you need to be on point. I know, I'm just really tired. An internship is important business. You said you wanted to work with me this summer, right? Well, I did, but I well, just Well, then, it. work is work. It was fun they would call it that, when you wouldn't get paid. But I don't get paid. Then you're having fun. Hey, Alan, I was thinking for this next shot, if we you I'm we sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't I hire you to do that? Exactly, thank you. Take this. Hey, Uncle Alan. 
What do you think about me singing again? I mean, I've been working on this song and... Oh, I, I think I, I told you that one. I don't think you're ready yet. Well, can't you just listen to it and then... Can we just... talk about it later? Sensation treating you with kid gloves? The kid is. Great. Watch out for the cables, because they're all over the place. Morning, sleepyhead. Kit. Yeah. How long was I out for? Just a few minutes, nothing big. I mean, what's up with sensation? Were they harassing you again? You know, I don't know why you take that from them, Elle. There's sensation. I mean, <laughs> do you know of another group bringing in money at this company? And besides, Uncle Alan told me to keep an eye out for them. I don't think he means being their slave. I can't tell Uncle Alan Kit. I mean, I'm the puppy he didn't ask for and then has to send to college. He's done enough for me. Hey, do you want anything from Cafe Cafe? No, but you can tell Andy I said hello. Why don't you just come with me and tell him you're... No, not gonna happen, okay? By the way, you were doing it again. What? You know, singing in your sleep. I think that's just weird. Who does that? Sleep singing. You know I don't sing anymore. Well, uh, you need to tell that to your dreams because they obviously didn't get the memo. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, bye. Two mocha chocolates. Bam. Thank Thanks. you. Have a good one. Oh, my bill. How goes it? The usual. Not fat, right? Yeah, they're all on diet. Again? Yeah, I think it's um, beet grass this time. Ooh. Or maybe just grass. I don't know. I can't keep up. Well, guess what? I got them ready for you. Bam. Aw, thanks. Nothing for you today? Not unless it's on the house. Hmm. Bam. Aw, thanks. You need to tell your pops to get you a company card. Well, he's not my pops, and I'm not even really officially part of the company. I mean, I'm not even allowed in the recording studio, thanks to those three sensational doubles. Oh, my Belle, you're gonna fly one of these days. It's the city of angels, after all. Why do I feel like I'm crawling all the time? It's 12 bucks. 12? Yeah, new boss, new prices. Sorry. Oh, you know what? Not at all. Chin up, Elma Bell. You'll get your wings one of these days. See you later. Oh, and Kit says hello. You tell her the only word I want to hear from her is yes. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta, mi Hasta mañana. <laughs> oh. This way. How dare you? You think I don't know my own routine? No. Get this moron off my set now. Now! Oh, this is unbelievable. You're so fired. So fired. Oh, please get over here. Isn't that my necklace? Oh! That's me, Al Daniels. And my day is about to get a lot worse. Where's Ella? I need my latte, like, now!
never touch you? Who cares about your stupid video anyways? Hope you fall every time you do your stupid dance moves. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. It's fine. I'm just having a bad day, you know? It happens. It's my boss, sort of. She's just so mean for no reason. Sometimes I wish she would just do one of her stupid dance moves right off the stage, you know? Bullies, right? Well, thanks for listening anyway. Just so you know, no one cares about your boss or your bad day. And for the record, my mother worked at the stupid dance moves. Don't bother saying you're sorry. I can already see it. Sensation out. You've met Kit. She's the closest thing to a human being here. If you don't count Uncle Alan, who isn't even a real uncle. That's a long story. But Kit's an intern, just like me. Yes, they have a new video coming out and it's gonna be big. No is such a harsh word, so I'll, I'll put you down for a maybe. And tell Mr. O'Brien that they are big, big fans of his. Uh-huh. I saw Andy today. And so? And he said that you should drink more coffee. What do you think he meant by that? Uh, maybe he'd like to see you more? You know, I just haven't been drinking that much coffee lately. It's no big deal. I mean, everybody goes through phases, and I am just in a less drinking coffee phase right now. You are such a dork. I mean, if you were less defensive, you wouldn't sound nearly as guilty. What? Every time you talk about Andy the coffee guy, you get all crazy. That's not true. Really? Okay, fine. You got me. But you tell anybody about this, and I'll expose you. I'll tell everybody that you're a closet country singer. And Sensation's your favorite band. Speak of the devil. Would you like me to make another coffee, Ron? No, I think I've had more than enough coffee. Thank you. You know, you're lucky you're not dead meat. Thank God the wardrobe department had another outfit for our video shoot. Otherwise, you would have ruined the entire thing. All right. Yeah, I'm sure. Excuse me, everybody. Hi, okay, Alan. Alan. Morning, girls. Morning, everyone. Um, I'm sure you're all familiar with the name Candy Cane. Well, she's our newest client. Her online video surpassed a million clicks, and considering how blurry it was, I think she must have something. So, let's do the usual workup. Renuka, I want you in my office in an hour to talk about press. Okay. And Brooke, I want you to block out the recording studio all of next week. Okay. Two songs, seven days. Um, by the way, Ty Parker's coming by for an interview later. So let's just try to contain our excitement when he comes. <laughs> next. Bye. <laughs> Wait, didn't you have a Ty Parker themed birthday party when you were a kid? Yeah, 11. Y 11 years old? No, I had 11 different Ty Parker themed parties. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Al! Make a wish! Yeah, make a wish! I love you, Ty Parker. <sighs> out as the best friend on some sitcom. One record later, he was a household name. A year later, he had the record of the year. And I and all of America followed him. He grew up, became more than a kid singer. He was Ty Parker. There are moments in life when everything slows down, where a hundred things can happen in the space of a single breath. A moment where your heart reaches out across the expanse of space and time and finds another heart beating in time with yours. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'll take you to Alan's office. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> he touched my hand. He, he actually touched my hand. Alan, the thing is, my fans are getting older. They're more sophisticated. They're not teeny boppers anymore. Neither are you. Well, that's just it. I got an offer from every label in town to do the same record I did last year and the year before that. You wanna know what I want? I want the chance to fail. Yeah, I want a label that's, that's gonna let me do something different, not drop me the minute I don't sell a million copies. I get that, I respect that, Ty. And there was a time when I even felt that. But trust me when I say to you that good intentions and good music don't always make a good marriage. Not without good business. Now, I know you've been successful so far. Look, I'm not worried about success, Alan, okay? I, I need to do something different. All right, no more lip syncing, no more canned beats. Just, this is my chance to do something real. Well, do you realize that some of your fans wouldn't accept that? And some of them will leave you? Yeah, I'll get new ones. Yeah, and if you don't? At least I was honest. What do you think? I think I know why you're here at Spun. The question is, do I come back? Yeah. Boy, Ty. You are not what I expected. I've been hearing that a lot lately. Is it a bad thing? No. Actually, I don't think so. You remind me of the very first band I represented. Yeah, where are they now? Well, they're gone. Taken. Good music doesn't keep an airplane in the sky. So, um... You sold a lot of records. You're willing to give that up just to make the record you want to make? I have to. All right, have a seat. How about this? We'll start with the baby step. I just signed an up-and-coming young pop singer from London, Candy Kane. I think a duet with her could make magic and money. Val, I'm... I'm trying to stay away from the pop. I know, you want to do something different. What I'm saying is, do it in the booth with her. She gives you pop, you push back with soul. Trust me, Ty. Do this for me, and then I'll let you do anything you want, any way you want. What do you say? Well, uh, I mean, I, uh, I gotta think about it. No problem. Thanks again, Alan. Okay, thanks. All right, everybody, that's enough stargazing. Now, Mr. Parker may be returning for a tour of the studio. So let's make sure he has full access. Hey, Uncle Alan, maybe tonight you could give that song a listen? Oh, I don't know, Well, I have a lot of work to do, and I'll probably be home late again. You probably shouldn't even wait up. Are you sure? I mean, I can make dinner. Don't bother. I know, you probably will anyway. Come on, back to work. <sighs> Such a homework moment. I'm getting all warm and fuzzy inside. Warm and fuzzy. Oh, I changed our minds. I do want more drinks, Edna. Not fat, right? With new competition on the way, you guys might want to look your best. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah, come on, girls. We have a sensational new video to finish. What's the matter? What are you talking about? You haven't eaten a bite. I'm just not that hungry. Is it about sensation? Your uncle? Why does it have to be about either one? Is there some other drama I don't know about? No. I don't know what's wrong, Kit. <laughs> Maybe it's your singing. Why would you say that? Because you were dreaming about it? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Everybody heard you. Leave it alone for the millionth time. I don't sing anymore. Al, you're good. I mean, you're really good. You know how many girls were killed to have your voice? And your musical ability? Just stop it. Why would you keep such an incredible talent hidden? You have a gift, a destiny. Destiny? Yeah, right. Destiny changes every day. And plans change every day. And things happen and those things change you, so what's the point? 
What about Berkeley College of Music? I mean, didn't you have an audition for them for a scholarship? That was a long time ago. Well, that was six months ago. You used to want to be the biggest singer-songwriter on the planet. If you don't pursue your music, what are you going to do with your life? I don't know. I go to a community college or something. Become a dental hygienist. And besides, Uncle Alan is knee-deep in his fun records. He can't afford to send me to a real college anyways. All I'm saying is if you don't hold on to what makes you, you, then you can lose yourself and you may not find it again. Wow, Confucius, that was deep. I know, right? It's like, I get my East wisdom from the East. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? An entry form. Berkeley is having another round of scholarship auditions coming up. First of all, okay, Berkeley screwed up my entire life, and secondly, I, I thought I just told you. Okay, fine. I will drop it for now. Do you want to check out this candy cane video? I heard it got 10 million hits online. Sure. Let's see. If you ever wondered what life as a record company intern was like, this is it. One of my jobs today is to call every radio station in the area and request Sensation's record. More calls equals more exposure. More exposure equals more sales. And more sales equals this. Hey Ellen, how's it going? Fine. We just finished our new hit video. It is the best thing we have ever done. The absolute mm -hmm. best. Yeah. Oh, great. I can't wait to call the stations and request it. Did you need something? Well, we were just wondering what you were doing tomorrow. The same as today, I guess. How would you like to be a part of a real recording? Are you serious? Uh-huh. Come with us to the studio tomorrow. I mean, you would really, really be helping us out. We know how well you know our music, and we really value your opinion. Sure, I can do that. Thanks. No problem. See ya. Bye. What was that? I don't know, but I get to be in the studio tomorrow. Careful, Al. I don't trust those three as far as I can throw them, especially Stephanie. Well, maybe they're turning over a new leaf. No. Hey, you know what this means? What? If anybody requests coffee tomorrow, you have to get it from Andy by yourself. Oh my gosh, Al. I gotta plan out what I'm gonna say. I gotta go. <laughs> you are so pitiful. Hey, is this WKLA? Do you have the new Sensation single? Sensation? Late night? Yep. You cooked? Yeah. More work? Yeah. Hey, you know what? I, I have a few minutes now if you want me to hear something. Never mind. <laughs> it is nothing. I want to be a princess. My fair is all around. And if you leave my king. Sensation asked me to help in the studio tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was a million miles away. Say it again. You need to go to bed. Well, you know what? So do you, because I can't have my interns falling asleep on the job. 
But did you hear what I said about Sensation wanting me to help in the studio? Yep. Keep your ears and your eyes open. Magic can happen in that booth. Okay, well, I love you, you know. Yeah, I know you do, kid. it had been over the past few months. This made up for it all. I was finally getting the respect I deserved, and I was going into the studio. Sensation. Sensation. Oh, my God, it was great. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh. This is so amazing. <gasps> it is, isn't it? This is where sensation makes its magic. So, what can I do to help? I'm so glad to hear how eager you are. In the dressing room, there's a small fridge with three different kinds of bottled water. After every three takes, no more, no less, we're gonna need one of each kind. And I'd probably be halfway between the last take because we want you back as soon as we finish. What? I like the strawberry flavored water, Steph likes the lemon, and Jamie likes the plain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want me to be your water girl? <laughs> No, you get to hold these two. <laughs> what are these? Oh, these are so we can towel off after each take. It just gets so hot in here. Sweat towels? Okay. Um, yeah, no. It's good. Yeah, nice dress there. Okay, ready? So, second take. Ready? Bigger, better. Be alive. Ready? Sensation. Sensation. Hi, I'm requesting the new single from Sensation. Awesome. I mean, I'll listen to any station who plays that song. Thanks. Nice day, isn't it, Elle? Oh, buzz off. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. Yes, I'd like to vote. I'd like to pick the new sensation single for Song of the Day. Thanks. Our ears are burning. Eleanor, thanks so much for helping today. Well, I'm not sure what I did that a laundry basket couldn't do. Oh, Emmy Poo, is something wrong? I'm sure there's a ton of interns that would love to be this close to actual stars. You're very lucky. But you don't seem very grateful. Ty is inspirational, isn't he? The way he just upped and left. It's hard to imagine what this old label's going through right now. Mm, all that money he took with him. All that money? Mm -hmm. I wonder what would happen to Spun Records if they lost their biggest act. You know why they call Sensation a bubblegum pop group? Because bubblegum comes cheap. <laughs> When you go out for lunch... Actually, I brought... Yeah, I'm sure. Go pick up the whole wheat wraps from the store around the corner, not before two and not after three, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and one last thing. We have a wardrobe fitting in a minute, and we have to fix some dresses that, um, yeah, they might fit you, but we have to get them hemmed and fit for us, um, smaller girls. Or is that too much to ask from our little laundry basket? Esther. Toodles, Allie. Fun girls. I hope you choke on the sequin. I'm gonna 
So this is what it's like to be a star in today's world. All the dresses, the hair, and the makeup. It's not the way I remember it. Mom and Dad traveling all over the country just to sing back up for some singer whose last hit was 10 years old. But that didn't matter to them. They loved singing. Belle, you look so beautiful. Thank you, Miss Pembroke. Ready? Now, I know how much you want to get into Berkeley. Remember, stage fright is all in the mind. You are a star. Are my parents here yet? Because I really need them. They know that. And you know they'll be here just as soon as they can. Your uncle called and said they caught the last flight out of Philadelphia. Will he be coming too? I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame. Aren't you two very close? Well, he's sort of a part-time dad, or uncle, I guess. <laughs> he takes care of me when my parents are on tour. Well, he sounds really special. You break a leg tonight. I will, thank you. Ms. Pembroke, we need you for a second, please. Break a leg. Name, please. Uh, Elle Daniels. What will you be singing for us today? It's, it's actually a song that I wrote for my parents. Good. <laughs> Uncle Alan wasn't supposed to be there. I knew something was definitely wrong. The thing is, when you have a memory you would like to erase, the opposite happens. A leak, they said later. My parents' plane had a hydraulic leak. That stupid plane should have never been flying. And the worst part about remembering those moments is you can't always remember the difference between what really happened and what it felt like. Maybe there is such a thing as a second chance. Maybe Kit was right. Maybe I could do this. I mean, what harm could it do to submit a song along with the Berkeley Scholarship Entry Form? After all, there I was, in a Los Angeles recording studio. And I was all alone.
Sorry. No, that, that was amazing. I mean, wow. I mean, you play so well, too. I mean, you, you really are the full package. <laughs> I, I... So when did you get in? I, I mean, wow, I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm going off like this. I'm just really excited. I'm, uh, I'm Ty Parker. Oh. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me just sneaking in like this. I was in here recording earlier, and I, um, I... <laughs> here it is. I forgot my phone. I was almost at the hotel before I realized, and, uh, wow, listen to me just... Yammering on. <laughs> well, I, I'm... Candy Kane. Yeah, no, um, yeah, I gotta be honest. When, uh, when Alan told me about you, I had, I had no idea what you looked like or, or sounded like, but I, I think, I think you're perfect. Oh, I mean, the, the look, the sound. Am I talking too much? I, I'm... You don't say a lot, do you? No, I mean, you're, you're tired, yeah. Um, would you, would you maybe want to, I don't know, get out of here? Go out. With you. Yeah. <laughs> and this is it. The moment I did the dumbest thing I've ever done. I turned British for a guy. Well, that would be lovely. Well, shall we? Indeed. I uh, will do. Uh, so I know this isn't the uh, most romantic of spots, but uh, I don't know you're new to America, and this is uh, <clears throat> this is where I shot my first music video. So I figured maybe we can shoot our first music video here. Well, that would be lovely. You know, I almost didn't catch that accent before. You're you're from England, right? Yes, England. I was born there. Well, I lived there. I was born there, and I live there. <laughs> okay. But uh, not all the time. Sometimes I go back there to London and other parts of England. Hmm. Yeah, I've actually never been there. Oh, you must visit sometime. The Tower of London and Buckingham Palace and Fog. <laughs> well, uh, maybe you can give me a tour sometime. I would be delighted. I'm surprised you're so cool. I mean, I'm sure you're used, you're used to uh, fancy restaurants. You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, it's the uh, price of fame, I guess. I mean, if we'd gone to the Four Seasons, the place would be swarming with photographers in 15 minutes. Have you, uh, have you had to deal with that? Uh, not yet, no. Well, give it time. I mean, the way you sing. Yeah. I'll say what you want about hot dog carts, but they have the best french fries. <laughs> you really should dig in. My, Sorry. <laughs> nah, it's cool. Mind somewhere else? Something like that. You're right. Good fries. Don't you mean, uh, don't you mean chips? A pardon? Fries, isn't Don't you call them chips in England? Oh, <laughs> yes, some places. But you know what they say, two countries separated by a common language. Well, that's smart, too. What? You. You're pretty, smart, talented. Porn, which was cool. Well, what about you, the dashing Ty Parker, teenage heartthrob on the cover of almost every magazine? Mm. That uh, sounds better than it is. Well, what do you mean? I can't walk out of my front door without being hounded by photographers and the tabloids. <laughs> Don't believe anything they say. It can't be that bad. Really? I mean, have you ever had someone just constantly telling you what to do, someone who thinks they know everything about music? You'd be surprised. That's why I'm still unsure about signing with Spun. I mean, I mean, Alan seems like a nice guy, but I just don't know if he loves music the way we do, you know? Um, I mean, still, he did say I could chart my own destiny. That sounds like him. Hmm? You two had a chance to talk much? Uh, not much, no. I, I think he's preoccupied with you and Candy's recording together. You mean you and I recording together? What did I say? You said you and Candy. Oh, well, that's just how we talk in London. We just spontaneously speak in the third person. It's very literary. Well, I uh, guess there's a lot I have to learn about you. You have no idea. <laughs> hey, do you wanna? Do you wanna take a walk? I'm not sure I'm dressed for it. Ah, come on. 
Honestly, I haven't been able to relax like this in months. Please? Okay. Where'd you learn how to sing like that? I took a few classes when I was younger, and my parents are both singers. Are they, uh, are they back home in England? Uh, no. Yeah, just back at home, <laughs> waiting for me to get back. You're nothing like what I expected. Uh, no? I mean, uh, it was a rumor that you were a little wild. No, not me. I'm an angel. See my halo? Well, I might have heard that you were a shallow pop star. Oh, touche, touche. Is that what you think now? No. So what do you think? I think you're one of the sweetest guys I've ever met. I think you're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. This is gonna be the best duet ever. Uh, uh is, that, is that mine? Uh, no, that's mine. Sorry, but I have to go. No, but... Wait, I don't even have your number. Um, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the recording studio. Candy Kane. Hi, Ty Parker. Um, hey. I don't mean to bother you, but can I have your autograph? Yeah, totally, sweetheart, oh, totally. Please. What's your name? Scarlett. Scarlett. Who? Uh, there you go. Thank you. Of course. I, I love your music. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. You're just awesome. Thanks, dude. Thanks so Thanks, much. Ty. Of really? course, of course. Hey, you guys have a good one, okay? Okay, bye. Okay. Yeah, totally. Thank Thanks a lot, man. Needs someone, <laughs> I kissed Ty Parker. I kissed Ty Parker? I kissed Ty Parker. Well, I kissed him on the cheek anyway, but it was still a kiss. And now I just had to figure out how in the world I was going to tell him that I wasn't the famous candy cane. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Hey! What? <laughs> What's with the outfit? I'll explain later. Where have you been? Why? What's the big deal? Yeah, apparently somebody broke into the studio last night and recorded over Sensation's new album. What? Broke in? Recorded over it? As in disappeared, not there, gone? Dude, somebody recorded over it and your uncle's on a warpath. Recorded over? Oh no. Hi, Ty. Oh, here, uh, let me help you. It's okay, I got it. Hey, do I? Do I know you? No, I don't think so. Uh, but no, you look really familiar. It, it, no, um, excuse me, I have to get back to work. Okay. Um. All right, I'll, uh, I'll see you around then. Nice hat. Huh, uh, you know, ordinarily I'd be entertained by that, but do you mind telling me what's going on? I'm sorry, are you, are you kidding me? Find a technician. I have a recording studio here and no place to record. Uh, you, look, I'll tell you what. If you don't have a technician here in an hour, then I'm going to find a new company to work with. Bad time? I'm trying to remember the last good one. Well, I think there's a silver lining to this. Oh, really? Can't wait to hear it. The girl in the recording? Yeah. It's Candy Kane. Candy Kane, are you sure? Yeah, I ran into her last night. Have you listened to it? No, not yet. Well, don't worry about it. I'm telling you. I, I can feel it. It's just like you said. You put us both in the booth. It's gonna be magic. Wait a second. What are you saying? I'm saying me and Candy Kane, the duet you wanted? Yeah. Alan, consider me signed to Spun Records. Oh, Ty, that's terrific. That's really terrific, Ty. Well, great. I'll, uh, I'll have my secretary drop the papers and we'll set up lunch for you two. Perfect. Thanks, man. Talk about that duet. 
Ty Parker, as in the Ty Parker. For the thousandth time, yes. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh, he, wait. He thinks you're Candy Cane. Okay, not only does he not know your name, but he also thinks you're from another country. It's a sordid affair, I know. This is the best. I can't believe you're enjoying my suffering. You had a romantic evening with your Prince Charming. Where does this suffering come in? It's the whole I lied about who I am, and once he finds out, he's never gonna wanna speak to me again part. You just need to tell him the truth. Once he sees it's you, he's not gonna care if you're American, British, or Martian. Well, you seem pretty convinced. Well. I've seen a million teen comedies on this subject, and I am an expert. Johnny, man, really appreciate you shutting down the restaurant for me, dude. Definitely, Todd. Anytime you need anything, definitely give me a call. Will do, man. Take care, again. I'm so sorry to be rude. I, I'm actually waiting for someone. Me? No, I'm sorry. I, ha I have a meeting. I get... You have a meeting with me. I'm Candy. Of course, mm -hmm. of course you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, please, uh, have a seat. Get this thing going. And that's when I told my agent we absolutely must come to America. I mean, here is an entire country that's barely even heard of me. How is that fair to them? I know. So we jumped the pond, as they say here, and here I am sitting here across from Ty Parker, the hottest star in the colonies. Colonies? As in the 13 original colonies. Oh, Ty, please tell me you're as smart as you are talented, dear boy. Because when I agreed to do this duet, I knew there was only one person, and one person alone, that could share the stage with Candy Kane, and that'd be blown completely out of the water. And that person is you, Ty. Aren't you gonna eat? What? We haven't ordered, and you're gonna need to eat. You need your strength, Ty. Because Candy Kane is not just a singer. Candy Kane is a force of nature. <laughs> And who knows? Maybe the studio isn't the only place you and I can play duet. Oh, Candy, I, I'm so sorry. I have to go. Wow. Um, listen, I, I would love to continue this, but I just, I really have to run. I'm sorry. Um, wow. Um, <clears throat> whatever you want, it's delicious. Put it on my tab. Um, I, I'm just so sorry. I have to go. Uh, I'll see you in the rehearsal studio. It, it was great. Ty, your phone. Ooh, yeah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. How did you sleep, honey? I didn't. Poor thing, you know, you really need to get out of this funk you're in and just tell the guy. I would if it were just a guy, but it's not. It's Ty Parker, the guy that I have convinced that I'm a real singer. You are a real singer. I sing, I'm not a real singer. I mean, I don't have my own record label, my own entourage or an intern to boss around. I mean, all I have is sensation. Three girls that were like nothing better than to know that I screwed up their record and lied to Ty. <laughs> I like it when you call him Ty. It's like I know him. <laughs> you are so not helping. Hey, everybody. <clears throat> hey, everybody, uh, can I have your attention? Um, as I'm sure you heard, there was a mistake in the studio. There was some girl in there recording a song. She was not who I thought she was. See, he likes you. How? I, I, I mean, how? Did you know it was a girl? What? Um, nothing. Um, and well, she's, she's disappeared. Anyways, um, if any of you know who she is, uh, it's very important that I get in touch with her. Say something. Hey! Hey, Ty, that's a great idea. You know, because helping is what people do and we should all be helpful, so let's do this. I'll be quiet. Okay, um, uh, thank you guys for your time. Appreciate it. Okay, Drew, this what do you think? This is not what I want. We're what do you mean, it's not what you want? This is not what I want at all, it's not my vision. Okay, I'll tell you what. 
We're gonna have to have my secretary give you a call. Oh, I'm no, gonna have to have no, my secretary no, call and fix something. Alan, I gotta talk to you. Goodbye. Uh, uh, thank you. Look, unless I find this girl, I'm leaving Spun Records, okay? I'm not kidding. I'll leave right now. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy, Ty. I mean, we do have a contract. I'll we... break it. For a girl? It's not just a girl. You said that I can make the record I want. Right. I want that girl on my record. Make it happen, Alan. Yeah, but she's not the girl. That's the problem, Ty. Look, let's just do our agreement the way we agreed to with the real candy cane, and then we'll find your girl for you. You asked me to make magic, and now you're taking away my hat. Can we just... Forget about Candy Cane for two seconds. Help me out. No, I can't forget about her, another can you. Ty, if we walk out on Candy now, she will sue us both. And you know what that means? No chance to do your music with a girl or alone. That would be a total lockdown. Now, is that what you want? It has never been about what I want until right now. Look, I'm finding this girl. Okay, Alan, I'm not like some stupid lawsuit. Get in the way. Mm. You've never looked this good. I know. This is it. Ugh. I mean, look at these outfits. No one is going to have these, I'm telling you. I mean, I look so hot today. I don't know what it is. That facial yesterday was just insane. You always look good. I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I look fat. Go to the gym. Skip a meal. It works. Do you like the scar? Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me again. I picked it out for you. Oh, girls, I mean, seriously, we're going to like be the fashion icons of the 2000s. OK, I think we're ready for shades. Pose. Pose. Hit it! Pose! Take it down, posse. That's right. Sensation! Okay, I'm parched. What? No water? Where is Imogene? I haven't seen her since lunch. That is unacceptable. I'll be back. Raptus! Okay. One, two! Ooh, what do we have here? Sensation, out. What's up, it's your boy Danny C reporting live from your number one radio station, ZKLA. We in the building with my boy T.Y. Parker. What's good, what's good, what's good? How's it going, man? It's been a while. Actually, I got a message I got to get out. I need to be the guy to help me, man. Oh, man, anything I can do to help T.Y. Parker, platinum selling artists in the building. Met a girl. I mean, this girl's a diamond in the rough, man. I've never heard a voice like hers. And more importantly, I mean, I spent the best night of my life with this girl. I'm telling you, Danny, see, this girl is, this girl's beautiful. She's funny. She's got the voice of an angel, man. Wow. Could T.Y. Parker be falling L-O-V-E love? Ah, well, unfortunately, I don't know much about her. I don't really know her name, but I know she's out there, and I know she's probably listening, and uh, I want to see if we can get her to reveal herself, you know? A, a game or something. OK, any rooms? I got one of her songs. I want to play the beginning of it, and if this girl can come in and sing the next line, I'll take this mystery girl out for the time of her life, and she'll record with me on the next album. All right, ladies, you heard the man. Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah. Next caller. 
Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that, uh, th 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 that wasn't her. Next caller. Hey. Uh, no, whoa. <laughs> Next caller. Uh, um, you know what? Actually, no, no. Yeah, we, 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 we're not looking for a rapper. We're looking for a singer. Thanks, though. Sorry, T.Y. It looks like we came up short. Well, that's all good, dude. It was worth a shot. There's one upside. Now, what's up? Sounds like once you find this mystery girl, you really have something special in your hands, man. Yeah. Thanks again, No Dan. problem, dude. Anytime I can help. I'm gonna get on out of here. You wanna grab some meat? Yeah, I'm starving. Chinese? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, let's do it. You got the, uh, Beamer keys? I got the range. The new range? I'm still in the Honda. Let's rock, though. <laughs> Woo. I heard that song on the radio. two gigs there, and that's what I told my agent. If you expect me to play at your club, you're gonna have to pay me. And that's how I came to America. Oh, hello. You must be the girls from Sensation. You're so cute. Hmm. Candy, we are such big fans of yours. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a minute. Of course. Give us a minute, will you, lads? What's on your mind? We heard that you and Ty had a meeting that ended abruptly. He ditched you. I wouldn't say ditched. Hmm. Do the English have another word for it? What can I do for you girls? We're all on the same boat here, correct? Ty is obsessed with a certain girl. Ah, yes, the mystery girl, my double. We know the girl. Do you? It's our stupid intern. She can't do her job. She can't even fill our fridge with the right gourmet water, and she sabotaged our record. Oh. She even tried to sabotage you and Ty. Yeah. Oh, no. I just can't take it anymore. It's just so frustrating. Oh, no, no, love. You mustn't let these people get to you. I know how hard it is to find good help these days. You're right. Oh, sensation. Hey, you're actually really nice. Mm. To be honest, I thought we'd be fake friends because we're on the same label and all, but maybe we can be real friends. You know something? I was thinking the exact same thing. Hmm. But I have to warn you, when it comes to our little intern, we may have to be a little underhanded. Mm, you girls don't know me yet, but trust me when I say underhanded is what I do best. It's hot. Now, what did you want? Hey, Whoa! Hi, kid. Hi, have you seen Elle? Uh, no. You look nice today. Look, Coffee Monkey, this isn't about me. Did you listen to Danny C's show last night? Uh, yeah, Ty Parker was on and... and yeah, I you know, know that. I wouldn't have asked you if you heard the show if I hadn't heard the show, would I? That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, I just... Can it? Mm. Come here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Uh... What's going on here? Listen, I need to confide in you. Can you be trusted? Of course. Hey, uh, what are you doing this weekend? Huh? Listen, Blue Boy, we can talk about us later. So there is an us. Do you want there to be an us? Yeah, I think that would be, uh, great. Me too. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Back to business. Danny C show last night. The song? Oh yeah, uh, Love's With Me Now, right? That's it. I liked it, it was good. Of course you did, it was L. Get out of here. <laughs> it ain't true. Well then why didn't she call in? Well, it's a long story. I just, I need to figure out a way to help my friend out, but I just don't know how I'm gonna help her. Well, why are you telling me? Two reasons. One, I've been dying to tell someone else this secret, and two, I've been trying to figure out a way to start a conversation with you, and I just didn't think this would be half bad. Oh, <laughs> sweet. So, uh, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you. Hey. Missed you today. I think I need to move on, Kit. 
Where? Greener pastures? Something like that. Did you hear Daddy sing play your song last night? Yeah, everyone did. Yeah, especially at Spen and... Do you want to know a secret? What? They loved it! I'm so humiliated. I mean, even if I do go back to Spun Records, what am I going to say? Sooner or later, Ty's going to see me and find out who I am. Maybe I could get plastic surgery. Yeah, that's a great idea. You can get big fish lips, like this, and have your eyebrows pulled to your hairline. OK, maybe that was a dumb idea. By the way, I wanted to thank you. For what? Thanks, Andy. Anytime. <laughs> Good song, Al. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. You told him? I'm afraid so. You know, he actually knows Ty. They went to high school together or something. <laughs> no. It's perfect. They're meeting up later. Andy can mention you. It's the perfect plan. I mean, it's about time you started getting credit for your music, Al. It's beautiful. Whatever. I have an idea. There's a party tomorrow, some celebration for Candy Cane's arrival to America or something. Yeah, it's at our house. What? The real Candy Cane shows up and we crash our party? Yes, Ty can care less about that English tart. He wants to meet you. He wants the girl that he met, the girl that he heard sing, the girl that he fell for. You know, you might be right. I am? Yeah, I mean, look at Andy over there. He lights up like a candle every time he sees you. It could be me and Ty. Yes, that is why, my dear, I have the perfect plan. <laughs> No, I'm so nervous. This is such a bad idea. This is going to be so much fun. It's no. like when Julia finds out Romeo's a Montague, but they can't be kept apart no matter what their last names are. <laughs> it, I do read, you know. OK, well, this is a really stupid idea. This is a great idea. And Al, it was your idea. And you look so pretty. I mean, Ty Parker's going to find out who the real L Daniels is. You ready? No. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Too bad. You're going. Go, go, go. Be a princess, the fairest all around. And if you leave my kingdom, you're never really gone. You made me feel so special, so beautiful and true. I wish that I could thank you if you only knew. If 
if I scanned my knee or found a prince to take my hand. Love will always be around. There isn't any doubt that your love is with me now. to be me and get away with it because you can't so why don't you scurry on back to Nashville because there's nothing for you here <laughs> oh, it's so sad <laughs> I and mean, I can't believe it's her I know look at this <laughs> can you believe what people will do to be famous I mean she even tried to pretend to be me <laughs> how, how could you do this to her Ty She's nothing. Hi! <laughs> Hi! It was funny! It was funny! It was funny! <laughs> you know, Andy said that if I came to the party tonight, I'd be this girl here that I'd just I'd never forgive myself if I didn't get a chance to meet her. And? He was right. Why'd you do it? I'd pretend to be candy, I mean. I didn't mean to. I honestly didn't, but then you thought it was candy, and that was just so much better than the truth. For the first time since my parents died, I decided to stand up and sing, and look what happened. Maybe they're right. Candy, sensation. My parents lying to you all because of some stupid idea that I thought I could be a real singer. I don't, I don't understand. They were on their way to see me, trying to get back in time for my Berkeley audition. It's because of me, Ty. If it wasn't for my singing, my parents would still be alive. It is not your fault. Do you think for one second you, your parents would want you to keep your voice from the world? Do you think they'd be happy knowing that you had this incredible gift? You were too afraid to share it with anyone just because you thought you'd hurt someone with your talent? Of course not. That's why they were on their way to support you, Elle, because they knew that you had something special. And they wouldn't want you to throw that away. So do you want to go to Berkeley or not? I do. Okay. It's up to you to make it happen. Let's go. Let's see how far he'll get with the nobody. Sorry, Uncle Alan. I mean, I'm sure you heard about the recording and mixing board. Yeah, I mean, you ran off with my biggest client. That too. You fire me or yell at me. Send me to boarding school, but don't look at me like that. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Do you know how much I admired your parents? No. I was right beside your dad when you were born. Could have knocked him over with a feather. 
Afterwards, he said to me, now I have everything, Alan. My wife, my kids, my best friend, my music. Yeah, love what he did. And he made everybody around them love what they do. And I forgot that for a while. It's okay. No, it's not okay. Because I forgot something else, too. I always wanted to make music. And then money. Not the other way around. Elle, you reminded me of that. That song of yours? Yeah. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's you. Thanks, Uncle Alan. I want you to make me a promise. Anything. No matter what anyone says, you never stop singing, okay? I won't. I love you. I love you, too. Ah. So, is Ty still around? Yep. Well, then get him out here. You gotta rehearse if you're gonna ace that audition for Berkeley. No, 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 Mr. Parker is in no position to change his mind. The duet must go on with Candy Cane. The motion we filed against Spun Record is explicit in this regard. Okay, listen, can I just please have a private moment with Miss Kane? Is that okay? No, no, you cannot speak to Miss Kane. Actually, well, well, you know here. what? No. Actually, I don't think that would be such a bad idea. Come along, Ty, darling, let's talk. Oh. Now, Ty, darling, I know this was all just a big misunderstanding. That is not what it looked like at the party. What do you mean? I mean, any chance we had of performing together was ruined when you hurt Elle. <laughs> Ty, you can't be serious. She's, she's an intern. She's a singer. She's, she loves music like you and me. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put me in the same category with her. You and I do this for the same reason, and that is the money and the fame. That's, yeah? that's really why you're here. Okay, let me make you a counteroffer. The duet goes on as placed, you know? Uh, you and I get linked to the tabloids just in time for the release. Or we sue, and you and her, this whole little record company will flop like a flan. Hmm? I'm sure Uncle Alan's young enough to find gainful employment at any fine fast food establishment, or not. And you must let go of little orphan Ellie. No, I won't do that. Just no. until the record's released, and then you can chase any mousy girl through the gutters you'd like. <sighs> You're really an awful person. You know that. Mm, Ty, darling. You might grow to like me. Well, it seems that Ty and I have come to agreement, so come along, Mr. Waters. Well, I'm really a big fan, Mr. Parker. Get Parker. out of here. What did you do? I am so happy for you, Al. 
I N L. Sit in a tree. T R S S. Stop it! Oh, please stop! No, I will not. You are currently romancing the biggest singer in the world, and you're gonna blow away the competition today at Berkeley's audition. You, you all can blow away, away the competition at the scholarship audition today. today. Wicka, wicka! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I played a part in it all. I should do this for a living. What, metal? Assist. Uh huh. Hey, Ty. What? Where? Well, You're well. stupid. Uh, hold on. Uh, kid, Hi. Uh, do you guys mind if I talk to Elle for a second? Please. <laughs> Wait, you're too close. What's going on? I just broke up. What? Oh. You forgot your cup. I know who's behind this. Oh, and they're not gonna get away with it. Not on my watch. What? Let's go. But I'm working. I don't care. I said let's go. Okay, going. I'm worried about this. I, I just don't think it's gonna work. Yes, it is. It's gonna work. <gasps> Here they come. You better stick to our plan, or I will tell everybody a little secret. Yeah, everybody. Oh, don't worry, loves. Everything's fine. Good, good. Sensation out. Hello. Do you happen to have any messages for Brenda Smirkle? Brenda Smirkle? Uh, oh, yes, Miss uh, Smirkle. <laughs> Your mom called. She wants you to call her back immediately. Okay, thank you, darling. <laughs> Special pastry delivery, compliments of your friends over at Spun Records. <laughs> Thank you, come in, it's lovely. Thanks. Right Thank here? You. Yes, please, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, sweetheart, I don't tip, I'm European. Bye-bye. No. No. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Silly boy. <sighs> hey, Ma, it's me, Brenda. She's a 700-pound cow. What do you expect us to do with her? 
No, Mama, nobody knows who Brenda Smirkle is. No. We had a real good day today. We even convinced Ty to break up with his girlfriend, so she won't be no problem no more. No, Mama. Nobody thinks a thing, Mama. They all think that I'm Candy Kane, the British star from Great Britain. Yeah, the internets are amazing, aren't they? I know. Mm-hmm. No, Mama, ugh. Nobody's gonna think anything. By the time anybody figures us out, we're all gonna be counting money on a beach. Hold it, Missy. The only money you'll be counting is when you're giving back change at the 95 cent store. Let's go. You have some explaining to do. You know, I have all of this on video. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair, I can explain. Oh, quiet, Brenda. Who's Brenda? <laughs> What is this? It's Candy's, I mean, Brenda's graduation picture. You know, I hear Bismarck is quite lovely this time of year. Mr. Sinclair, I can explain this whole thing. Let me save you some time, Brenda. What you've been doing is called fraud. And the fact that you were poised to make a lot of money doing it also makes it a felony. And I have a suspicion that private conversation you had with Ty in my office also had a hint of blackmail in it. So. If you don't want to continue this conversation with a lot of blue uniforms with badges on it, I suggest you leave immediately. <laughs> and as for you three, you can be dismissed as well. But Expect Alan, a negotiation very no, soon. Alan, we are a sensation. We are the number one fit. Oh, oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Awesome. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Where's El? The audition! We gotta go! Come on, guys! Uh, whoop! Thank you. Name, please. L. Daniels. And what will you be singing for us today? An original called um, Fairy Tale. What's the song about? It's about following your. <clears throat> following your dreams. Very well, then. I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. Could I start again? Are you ready now? Yes, Miss Daniels, are you ready? She was born ready, sir. Hi, what are you doing here? Listen, it's a long story and I'll fill you in on the details later, but uh, I just want to tell you I'm here for you. I always will be. You can do this. I don't think I can. No, hey. Okay, Ellie, your parents would be so proud of you right now. Okay, we're all proud of you. I'm gonna back you up. Do your thing. Show them how it's done in Nashville. I'm ready. Very well, then.
get hard on me Cause you know that they will They were scared to chill Become something cool Making fun of you For living out your fantasy You're a bird that soars Above them all Don't let them clip you So good. I told you you could do it. <laughs> See that? That's me, Al Daniels. And maybe there is such a thing as fairy tales because we all lived happily ever after. Struggles in my share of did me wrong. I got my six string loot and got my bags all packed on a mission. I ain't ever looking back. No matter what, I'm gonna keep on dreaming. Almost gave up, but now I'm still believing. Happy ever after is never too far away.
them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, are you Ty Parker? Yeah. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? Erica. Erica. Oh my gosh, Ty Parker signing my autograph book. That's so cool. What's your favorite color? Do you like green? I love green. Or blue, maybe. Do you like cherry pie? I love cherry pie. What about grapes? I love yeah. grapes. Huh? What about apples? Do you like apples? What's your favorite kind of car? Do you like BMWs? They're so cool. Wow. Hey, WZLA. Oh, cool. Hey, do you have that song you played when Ty Parker was on? Oh, that's so rad, dude. Because I would listen to your station all the time if you played that tune. Shit. Big fan. I gotta run. Mom's calling me for dinner. Ciao. Hi, WKLA. Yeah. Listen, I was wondering if uh, you had that song that they played when Ty Parker was on yesterday. Oh, cool. Well, I would listen to your station all the time if you played music like that. Yeah, she's really good. Hi, uh, WKLA? Yeah, do you have that single you played when Ty Parker was on? Cool, because I would listen to any station that played that record. Okay, I gotta go, my mom's coming. Bye. WKLA? Hey, do you have that single you played when Ty Parker was on? Cool, I'd listen to any station who played that song. Oh, gotta go. Dad's peeking in now. I gotta go, dinner's almost ready. Oh, I, I gotta run, my mom's coming. <laughs>